Hey guys, we are back with another video. Well, today we'll be talking about this. This is the Radeon RX 480. It looks good, price is good, but is it actually any good? So this is a GTX 1070 when the announcements came. First, I was like. You know, you're getting the performance of a 980 Ti or maybe even a Titan X for just $400. Everyone thought that this was a steal for 400 bucks. The new and efficient Pascal architecture can max out any game at 1080p on Earth or maybe even 1440p. Bruh. And most importantly, it looks fantabulous. The Founders Edition looks like it's a diamond somewhere. So sooner that day I thought this was the time Nvidia snatched off AMD sales and took on the market. But AMD was also having a watch on this. And later not, they unveiled the first Polaris 10 architecture GPU, the RX 480. Now I don't really know if it's an R9 480 or 480X or an RX 480, but here it is. The thing is it's said to be ready for VR gaming, and that's ridiculous. We all know that Oculus recommends at least a GTX 970-980 for a smooth VR experience and this thing is delivering it. And the bus for all? Well, it is $200. That's like nuts. And here are some specs for the RX 480 which is some of the high-end graphics cards which essentially cost almost the double. Holy So, can it run games not 4K? Well, it may, as it all depends upon the cores and the system. And speaking of the specs, it has three display ports and one is DMI port. So all those old school DVI VGA pod users, it's time for an upgrade costing half the premium for the premium. So after all this, they have been telling us that this card will be available at mid-2016 around the first week of July. Well, the whole earth is being waiting for the GTX 1070, but will this be a baller? Well, time will tell, so will you. Comment down below what you think you will be buying, and I'll see you in the next one.